Hey folks and welcome to Palma in Mallorca. We're standing at the edge of runway 6 left, which is on the sort of northwest side of the airport. Today they're landing from the sea toward the east, toward the northeast, and that's actually good news for us. Often they'll use 24 left, but we'd heard that sometimes the 747s, at least the Dash 8, would head over to 24 right at the last minute because it's too big for 24 left. 24 right's a little longer. This runway is the longer one and they're all coming in here and as long as the winds don't switch, we're in the right place. Uh, for spotting the arrival of Lufthansa 747 today. And there's also a Swiss A340-300 coming in a little before that. And uh, hopefully the Lufthansa 747 is not too late today so that we can spot it and then race to the airport because we're going to be flying it just after that back to Frankfurt. We've invited a bunch of Flight Radar 24 followers, subscribers to come out, get some keychains, watch some planes with us on this beautiful day. A bit windy, but gorgeous, 20 degrees. Couldn't ask for more, and here comes one behind me. And I'm here right now with the only person who's joined the meetup so far. He joined me a little bit earlier, and actually it was all his idea. This is Alan, and uh, he is Alan the Flyer on everything, right? YouTube, exactly. Instagram, TikTok, and uh, he actually sent me a message about a month ago asking if I'd be flying on the Lufthansa 747, and I had sort of considered it, but it was then that I thought, hey, I should really do that. It's nice to take this chance to fly the 747 in Europe, so we're just gonna spot the plane, and we're both gonna fly on the plane later. You're in a premium economy seat. Right? Yeah, I wish I could be as well in business class, but sadly there were no more no more remaining business class window seats. At least premium economy is pretty exactly. nice, too. And you get that kind of over-the-wing view. Exactly. Here comes a Ryanair from Dortmund. That looked like a pretty soft landing, actually, for Ryan. Right? <laughs> Nicely done. So you've never been on a 747 before? Never. Right? First time. And I was saying... Very excited. Yeah, and I was saying earlier how, uh, you know, 747s were like my childhood airplane. I've flown them so many times, so it really brings me back. There's a nostalgia thing. But for you, it's totally different. It's an all-new experience. And um, you're catching the 747 before it goes away. Yes, exactly. If nobody shows up, it'll be like a funny joke. We thought that might be someone joining us for the meetup, but it was just some lost people. They're just trying to get to the airport. And then our fellow Av geeks begin to arrive. Dancing lost. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Super warm, but I'm quite excited myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's only Eurowings. <laughs> Lufthansa 747 is running about an hour late due to French air traffic control strikes. That gives us more time for spotting, but it also means we'll have to hurry extra quickly to the terminal for the flight back in case they're able to do a fast turnaround. Then the Swiss A340 shows up, another lovely blast from the past. Flight radar and you find it of quite course, good. Since like 
2018 when I bought my first smartphone. Every day checking, you know, what, what, what traffic is over my house, and it's really amazing how it, the whole system works. And yeah, it's, it's a very good app. You said you're a student pilot. Yeah, I'm a student pilot. ATPL. A ATPL. Okay. Test line routes. Okay, nice. And so you're and so you're looking at flight radar. I just when check he's when he, like if anyone's flying. My daughter lives in London. Yeah. She's flying to Mallorca. Family. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Oh, and I'm oh, so okay. One of flying. And finally, it's time to greet the queen of the skies. Back to the airport now. <laughs> All right, now we gotta race this plane to the gate. Well, they're so. gonna win, obviously, but uh, <laughs> hopefully, we get it before they close the doors again. So I notice a lot of people here do the standing on the travelator thing, which drives me nuts. Yeah, Look at this, blocking the way as well. Okay, we made it back to the airport from the spotting location, just in time to grab a bite and a drink at the lounge. And now we're boarding the 747. Wow. 
How beautiful is that? Crazy. The 747-400 is exceedingly rare these days, especially in a passenger configuration. Let's take a little look at what our Flight Radar 24 data says about that. Lufthansa are getting some good use out of these old birds. In the period from 1st of January to 25th of March this year, Lufthansa's 747-400 flights are up close to 50% compared to the same period last year. In the first three months this year, there were a little over 25,000 747-400 flights worldwide. Only 1,074 of those were passenger flights, and Lufthansa represented a majority of those. Total 747-400 flights are actually down from January to March 2022, which saw over 30,000, but passenger flights have held steady year over year. It's cargo that has seen the dip. About 4,500 fewer flights this year on the Dash 400. In 2022, in this period, Dubai saw the most 747-400s from Lufthansa. This year, it's Bengaluru in the top spot with 83 flights so far this year. Where else have they shown up? New York, Seoul, Chicago, Delhi, Shanghai, Washington, and Beijing. And of course, as of today, in Palma as well. But the best way to appreciate the 747 is to fly on it, so let's get going. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome on board. My name is Dirk Haken. I'm your captain today. And also on behalf of my colleague in the cockpit, Captain Axel Petzold, and the entire cabin crew, I would like to welcome you on our flight to Frankfurt. And I want to get a long time for me. Uh, one side, please please, 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 please. And no Palma to Frankfurt flight is complete without some glorious Alps views.
By the way, this system may not be the newest and fanciest one out there, but I love this view on the moving map where you get a kind of virtual tail view of the aircraft. And at the end, the queue to visit the flight deck got so long that the crew started getting a little stressed about the turnaround. So, everybody who's here now has to go to Shanghai later. Yeah? <laughs> 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 no, in Shanghai. <laughs> Everyone was very pleased that there was so much interest in the plane, though. And the first officer hinted that Lufthansa may be keeping these flying for even longer than expected. Here's hoping that's true. Main deck is already deported. Oh, I see, yeah. So it's just up here. Technic technicians come already. Cleaning is coming. Oh, so we're being so annoying for everyone. You know, this is going to happen every Sunday, so you guys should have planned for this. <laughs> Thank you for joining today, and a special thanks to everyone who came out to the airport to spot with us. Long live the Queen. In Frankfurt for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.